I pretty well finished talking about this one in part part one on this uh, sketchbook, except to add that um, you know I did although it's a very small watercolor, I did it in two sittings. I uh, came back at the same, did it in the morning, came back the next day at the, roughly the same time in the morning, so as to get the same sort of uh, light effects. Uh, or shadow effects, really. Uh, I already mentioned about the masking, which I don't use on such a small watercolor. This was a, a pencil drawing done from a balcony, just looking across the street at the architecture uh, of the houses there. Yeah. Now, you can see that, for example, I mentioned before in the other video that I do try to do sky effects quite quickly. It doesn't do any good to try to kind of uh, do them very studiously. It's better to do them quickly. They'll end up looking more natural. So I just dropped in this, for example, these blue areas here. That allows the white of the paper to be read as cloud. And obviously the palm tree in the lower half, again, it's a double spread. The palm tree in the lower half is, is done uh, a little more studiously. But still, it's not a, you know, uh, very, very detailed. There's more detail suggested than actually painted in. I've left whites of the paper in various areas of the of the leaves in order to, of course, provide those areas um, with some light to get across the idea of sunlight striking the object. This is uh, again another uh, rooftops in this village. The white, of course, I left uh, in the sky areas representing clouds, some of the patterning, patterning in the uh, trunk of the palm tree is represented in there. I also left some white on the rooftop. It was a tin roof reflecting the, the, the sunlight. This one is um, done in grease pencil. In this case, it's blue. It's that product I mentioned, which these pencils are used to mark uh, or write on plastic or glass. 